Hey guys, Benny from Nomad Effect here. Just bear with me and uh, could be a little bit longer but I'm gonna just try and cover everything off that you guys might have missed. Uh, first thing, welcome to Australia. Uh, it's not so sunny right now but we're in the, the sort of the end of winter. And uh, Soph and I have been hiding out here since pretty much the last time you guys saw a video from us. Uh, to cover off the, the title of the video, yes, I uh, have cancer, it's not clickbait, or I had cancer. So when I came to Australia for my sister's wedding, and luckily, I, uh, <laughs> luckily I uh, went and got myself checked here, and uh, I had been to the doctor in the States, and they didn't really um, take my uh, issues very seriously, and in Australia, the doctors are really thorough. They, uh, they checked everything out, every test you could imagine. And I was, according to all these tests, I was perfectly fit. But she sent me for a colonoscopy, and that's how they found the cancer in my colon. Uh, I have since had a full bowel resection, uh, which is where they cut a little bit out of your, your bowel, your colon, and they rejoin it back together again. So they cut the cancer out, and then they sort of put the hose back. And uh, that went great. The doctor was amazing, and uh, I have since done a full chemo treatment, which I am currently a week out of. Hence my uh, unkept beard and, and hair. I was going to wait to treat myself with the, the beard and hair situation until after chemo was done. So this week I'll be going and getting that done. Uh, moving forward, I have to have a, a final scan and a final um, uh, blood tests because I, I don't have a, um, my immunity is affected by the chemo and I have this this port that they install which is where they put the chemo through and um, I can't get that out until I have a, my full immunity back. So why haven't I shared this prior? A lot of people have said to me that well the few people that I've told uh, have said that I should be sharing my, my journey um, and I, I do I get that I, I get why people would want you to share the journey and I, I think it's it's uh, valid for people that have the strength to do it. I don't think I'm one of those people. Um, it's been hard, I, I struggled. I struggled with the operation and then chemo was much, much harder than the operation for me. Uh, other than the fact that I was tired all the time and these crazy symptoms that you get. Like, I, got, I couldn't pick anything cold up because your fingers get really sensitive. You can't drink any cold water because your throat gets sensitive so everything has to be warmed up for you. Uh, the first time I'd eat food every time, my jaw would get in pain and lock up. Um, I have really bad back knee. Uh, I didn't really want anyone to see me because my, my face just just got all rashed up and it cracked up really badly. Um, and chemo farts. Chemo farts are a thing. No one tells you about this one. This isn't on the symptoms list that the doctor gives you. If you want to know about that one, you're going to need to Google it, but it's it's not. I'm just glad so still standing next to me. Uh, it's it's yeah, it's a it's a real thing. Uh, we've been lucky that I can stay with my mum and dad while we're here and you know we've had all the support in the world and the doctors have been fantastic and the healthcare in Australia is fantastic and the nurses are literally people that are sent to this earth to just look after people and they're just amazing people. Like every nurse that we encountered and my oncologist have been phenomenal. Like I couldn't have asked for a better team of people to uh, cut me open and, and make sure that everything's fine. Um, the biggest reason for me sharing this video is because I was lucky. I was lucky that I went to the doctor when I did. I probably left it about a year. And I'm just lucky that the cancer did not spread outside my colon wall. There are so many people that aren't as lucky. And if I can say this to everybody, the, the colonoscopy isn't that bad. It's not fun, but it's not that bad. But just go get checked. If you're not feeling good, if something's not right, like my symptoms were, a lack of energy, um, never feeling like I'd finished going to the toilet, and right towards the end, I actually had like blood coming out of my rectum, which is probably too much information, but I just wanted to share this, and it's I wanted to share the too much information, because if you guys are feeling any of these things, like, like I was probably, I was a, probably the sort of person that could like work and just never stop. Like, I'll, I'll do 16 hour days, whatever I have to do, I'll cut a forest down if I have to. And I was finding that I was probably, getting really tired and unable to keep working after about four to five hours and that was just so unlike me and you know the doctors in America said that I was just getting old and 
it just seemed like just too much for me. It was like too much of a, a change. So if you guys experience anything like that, just get checked. Please get checked. Anything that might be wrong with you, get it checked and push the doctor. Don't take their word for it. If they say you're too young to have cancer, say that's bullshit. Send me to get the test because it's it's they're wrong. They, that's what happened to me, and that's and I'm just lucky that I came here. And in Australia, we have really thorough doctors, and, and it, it hasn't been the experience that I've had for the rest of the world. So just be persistent. Tell them there's something wrong. Tell them that you you know there's something wrong. If you want to you're worried about being a hypochondriac, who cares? Who cares? Just get checked. Lots of people with cancer and things like like uh, situations like this say that uh, your priorities change when you go through something like this. And that's definitely the case for me. I, uh, and Soph actually, who has gone through this whole thing with me and uh, I've got to say, couldn't have asked for anyone that I would want to go through this more I wouldn't yeah I couldn't have chosen a better partner to go through this with it's she's been great she's been strong uh, literally one day of tears and the rest of it was just a supportive machine helping me get through every single bit of that I've gone through uh, so thanks for so she's actually behind the camera right now so what is Sofa and my plans moving forward well this might sound a little bit cliche but we've had six months on the couch pretty much to think about life and think about what we want to be doing versus what we have been doing and we are very guilty, guilty of, of kind of living life like we're going through a revolving door we take on work that we feel like we have to and we do the things that we feel like we should instead of doing the things that we enjoy and i think that we need to take a little bit more time in our lives to do the things that we enjoy another sort of side effect of sitting on the couch for six months is that you watch a lot of news and you you take a lot of notice of what's going on in the world around you and the world's burning it's it's struggling you know uh everything from mass shootings to governments making stupid rules about abortion and uh like floods there's floods in australia there's fires in france there's i think there's fires in portugal right now like there's so many places that are struggling and i, I personally i don't know whether so shares this with me i want to help and i want to give back somehow and i think that uh, somehow with, with uh, what I do as a professional photographer, I, I can do that. And I want to spend a bit of my recreation time and my time giving back because that's what I want to do, not, not that I feel like I have to. So yeah, I want to give you guys an update. Soap and I really enjoy YouTube and we want to do more of it. So this is an update on, on our life and why we've been quiet and there's been a few an like questions and comments and stuff on our YouTube that I've gone a bit unanswered and this is why. Um, and moving forward, I'm definitely going to take a step back and definitely try and do things that I enjoy. I really enjoy, uh, like I'm a professional photographer and I want to shoot more surfing and, and things like that. Okay, jumping in here because Ben is having a little bit of trouble finishing this video. As always, thanks so much for watching our video. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button. And we can't wait to share our plans with you and take you on our journey to do what we want and give back to the world.